Each month, you receive reports of adverse events following immunization, or AEFIs, from the health facilities in your district. You organize the data into line lists and tabulate them by place, person, time, vaccine, and type of event. How can you tell if these numbers should raise concern? You need to calculate the rates of the reported AFIs and compare them with the expected rates for the month. If you do not, you may miss a critical problem within your immunization program. Whether due to an error in vaccine handling or administration, the vaccine itself, or simply concern from the community. This is the formula for calculating the rates of AFI. You will need the number of AFI cases due to a vaccine reported in a given period, the number of doses administered of the same vaccine during that period, and the appropriate multiplier. You will then need to check to see if the rate you calculated is above or below the expected rate. Let us walk through an example. In your district, there were 25 reports of febrile seizures following MMR vaccination in the past month. During this period, 12,350 MMR doses were administered. First, record the number of AFI cases that have been reported for a particular vaccine. This number should focus on a specific vaccine antigen. If the vaccine is administered more than once, focus on the dose in the series, such as the number of AFI cases who received the first dose of MMR. You can find this information using an AFI line list. In our example, there were 25 reports of febrile seizures following the first dose of MMR vaccination. Next, you need to determine the denominator. This is typically the number of doses administered for each vaccine dose during a period of time, usually a month, a quarter, or a year. For the first dose of MMR, the denominator will be the number of infants who received a first dose of MMR during the same period. In our example, there were 12,350 MMR vaccinations given in the district in the past month. The number of administered doses is the most reliable denominator to use. However, if this number is not available, you can use another denominator. Each has its own limitations. You could use distributed doses, but since this number is typically greater than the administered number, you may underestimate the rate. You could multiply coverage by population, but this may be less accurate due to coverage variations. Or, you could use the target population, but this may lead you to underestimate the rate. Next, identify the appropriate multiplier. The multiplier you choose will depend on the level of the program you are evaluating, as well as the severity of the event. Use 100 for calculating rates at the local level or if the AFI is a common minor reaction. This will give you a percentage. Use a large multiplier, 1000, 10,000, 100,000 or 1 million. If you are calculating rates at the sub-national or national level or if the AFI is a rare, serious reaction. In this example, we will use a multiplier of 1,000 to calculate the febrile seizure rate per 1,000 in the district. When we divide the number of AFI cases, 25, by the number of doses administered, 12,350, and multiply by 1,000, we get a rate of about 2 febrile seizure cases per 1,000 doses for this district. Once you have calculated your rate of AFI, you can compare that number with the expected rate. 
If your rate is higher, that means there is a potential issue and further investigation is needed. You can find the expected rates for each type of AFI for a given vaccine in WHO information sheets. This WHO information sheet for MMR shows the expected rate for febrile seizures is one case per 2,000 to 3,000. Since we are considering rates per 1,000, you could convert this to a rate of 0.5 or 0.3 cases per 1,000. Compare this with the rate in our example which was two febrile seizure cases per 1,000 doses for this district. The rate of febrile seizures in your district for the month was significantly higher than expected, so further investigation is needed. You now know how to calculate rates of AEFIs to identify potential issues in your immunization program.